wave um, combines two words. It's the wave, um, but it's also education. Uh, so it's, uh, it's written out wave as in the English hola with the D at the end. And we're saying nowadays that we're la hola de la educación, we're the, the wave for education. And we're inviting uh, everyone to jump or hop on this, this wave uh, in, in this movement for equity and educational opportunities. This is what it really uh, looks at. It looks at helping the underprivileged students, in our case, primary students from a school system called multi-grade schools and comarcal students, uh, which have similar needs. And we're doing this through surfing. Surfing for us is a tool to uh, change the personality and enhance personal, but also social development of our students. Uh, initially in, in, in Brazil, this is how, how WAVE was born, because I had to think of how does surfing connect to students if there's no connection as such. And we came up with a fundraising model called One Dollar Per Wave which literally turns each surfed wave by any given surfer into economic financial funds for schools. And those funds then can then be used in order to improve infrastructure, teach English, teach them how to surf, uh, which is really what we're doing nowadays. And I've known surfing in Brazil as a huge sport, uh, has gone through tremendous growth Nowadays, most of the world's best surfers are from Brazil. So I came with that knowledge of surfing being such, such a, uh, so, so, so present on a daily basis that I arrived in Panama and I wanted all Panamanian surfers to also surf for education through one dollar per wave. And, and we did events where we actually counted each wave uh, on a, digital uh, LED screen on the beach with a remote control and we're literally counting wave per wave per wave. And this is how the, the, the concept was, was born. It's, I have to admit, it's a bit inactive at the moment because we're still trying to figure out logistics and we also want to uh, have international surfers be part of, of this fundraiser. And for that, it just needs more growth and more opportunities to also look outside of our Panamanian borders.